హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఐ ఎమ్ మన్మధ్ కృష్ణ యు ఆర్ వాచింగ్ మన్మధ్ కృష్ణ ఫుడ్ టెక్ ఛానల్ ఐ మేడ్ మై వీడియోస్ ఇన్ ఏ ఈజియస్ట్ అండ్ సింపులెస్ట్ వే టు అండర్స్టాండ్ ద ఫుడ్ టెక్నాలజీస్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ ఫుడ్స్ అండ్ ఫుడ్ సైన్స్ అండ్ టెక్నాలజీ స్టూడెంట్స్ టుడేస్ అవర్ టాపిక్ ఈస్ కెమికల్ హజార్డ్స్ ఇన్ ఫుడ్ పార్ట్ ఫోర్ ఇన్ అవర్ ప్రీవియస్ చాప్టర్ వీ హ్యావ్ డిస్కస్డ్ అబౌట్ intentionally added chemicals in food during processing distribution and harvest now today we will discuss about the intentionally added chemicals in foods sulfiting agents we will discuss today about the sulfiting agents and antimicrobial drugs what are those and what are the applications what are the benefits why we are using those kind of uh, chemicals and additives in the food manufacturing industry sulfiting agents so the sulfiting agents what is a uh, sulfite so we can call it as a sulfite or sulfite so sulfite ions the sulfite when we add a sodium or potassium to the sulfite sodium sulfides or potassium sulfides which act as a strong preservative and which act as a strong antioxidants so that's why the sulfiting agents which are used in food processing industry extensively all industries the sulfiting agents were extensively used the e number 221 E number 222 and E number 223 in three combinations three compounds sodium sulfite E21 E222 to sodium bisulfite E223 sodium meta bisulfite and same the potassium sulfite and potassium meta bisulfite and so on 224 like that so this is the e numbers in our previous uh, episode we discussed about the e numbers and ins numbers why it act as a strong antioxidants oxidizing agent as well as it acts as the preservatives when you see the the sulfide uses nowadays sulfide uses in potato chip manufacturing industries and sulfite uses in jam making industries pulp industries textile industry other than other than food industry also the sulfiting agents were used and in the bakery baking industry also sulfiting agent is used especially in wine making industry why the sulfite is used sorry in wine making industry why the sulfite is used because of the sulfite is used in wine making industry it will kill the spoiling organisms spoilage bacteria which are going in the wine making industry and which will control the fungal growth in the wine otherwise what will happen you know the wine will turn to browning automatically the wine self life will reduce so most of the wines contain sulfiting agents nowadays the people are more conscious about these sulfiting agents the countries like united states of america and europe made the regulations for the sulfiting agents due to the effects sulfite is an allergic identified by the united states of america and european countries also declared as an allergen unfortunately you know country india not yet declared the allergens maybe soon they will implement they will regulate the law for the allergen declaration on the foods food packaging materials whenever you take any food you eat any food that is your right you know the ingredients or contents which are added in the food why the united states of america and developed countries most of the countries banned the sulfiting agents so the meta by sulfites why because which is allergic to the sensitive individuals who are those the, the sensitive individuals are the vulnerable group for the allergic to these kinds of uh, sodium uh, sulfides or especially the children a toddlers adolescents 
aged persons and immunosuppressants a present uh, we have seen the people adults also being more susceptible for sulfite allergies those who are tolerant for the sulfite allergy also coming to these kinds of problems why because the sulfites extensively used in food industries different kinds of food industries for example pickles making industry a uh, chips making industry vegetable chips and food processing industries like shrimp processing industry mollusks processing industry um, uh, for freezing they are using and dried fruits also they are using because why the dried fruit industry the sulfite antioxidant is used as antioxidant because of the sulfite will prevent the browning of the dried fruits and sausages it will give the shelf life it will extend the shelf life the sausages also will add and the nuts also and wine and beer manufacturing industries and fruit concentration industry corn syrups and all baked foods pizzas burgers bread and confectionaries all baked foods the sulfite is used for smoothening of these things and to minimize are uh, to restrict the fungal growth to extend the shelf life so what happened the persons who are adult who keep on eating in the weekends especially the recent research reveals that at the weekend the people who are eating the fast foods or processed foods uh, who are taking the foods outside the levels which are the below the tolerant limits even though they get the symptoms of the allergies in the systems so when they will take these kinds of foods in a short span of time one day within one day or two days of time the content the sulfites so which is in the residual levels the below levels which are present in the foods keep on accumulating they will get some allergy symptoms even in the adults also who are tolerant for these things and they feel the rashes on the skin and the shock. so we must keep the antihistamine tablets in your first aid box in your house when you feel the symptoms you must take the tablet antihistamine tablets will relieve from the sulfite allergy so now let us discuss about the usage of sulfites in seafood industry in shrimp or prawn processing industry how it is more beneficial for the seafood processing industries a uh, prawn making industry prawn processing industries and mollusks also they are using even tomato also blackening of tomato also can be prevented by using the sulfites and potato making chip industry also browning can be prevented by using the sulfites let us discuss about the usage of uh, sulfites in seafood industry the shrimp processing industry and freezing industries so na2 yes to ufa why the seafood industry shrimp processing industry they are using sulfite as a preservative or antioxidant why because it will prevent the melanosis the shrimps after harvest what will happen you know after harvest the enzymes enzymes action will start the enzymes like tyrosine which is more accumulated in the gut regions and the appendages region so also after harvesting the enzymes tyrosine by the activity of tyrosinase and tyrosine melanosis will form melanosis will form so the shrimps head portion of the shrimp head portion of the shrimps uh, will will form the black gills and the appendages of the shrimps also will will form the black rings or black spots and the tail portion of the shrimp also the black tail will come why because the head region the hormones are more concentrated after harvesting what is the precautionary measures after harvesting immediately we have to chill kill the shrimps if the shrimps are prawns or meant for head on processing make it a dip in a sodium metabase of a solution so we can chill dip that solution in the sodium metabase solution about 
point two two a uh, three zero point three percentage for one or uh, two minutes dip will come down the residual levels below the acceptable limits. So when we dip the shrimps before being packed transported to the food facility, if we can dip in the sulfiting agents, the melanosis will be prevented. Or otherwise, if you can immediately transport the shrimps after harvest, if you can immediately transport the shrimps and do the beheading, melanosis formation. To prevent the black spot formation in shrimps, what we have to do is after harvesting, immediately we can keep chill killing and we have to dip in the sulfate solution. If the shrimps are meant for head on packing, you immediately have to dip in the sulfate solution. You can prepare the solution as for the guidelines or maybe you can prepare the solution 0.2 to 3 percent, 0.3 percent solution, 1 to 2 minutes dip in that solution. It will prevent or it will decrease the melanosis formation in streams. It will prevent the action of enzymes. A tyrosinase action it will prevent. The axis of oxygen also it will arrest by the mechanism it will prevent. Or, or else after harvesting before transporting we have to do this otherwise immediately after harvesting you have to chill kill and proper icing and transport to the processing industry do the beheading and keep in the chilled ice condition. You prevent the axis of oxygen to the product we can minimize the formation of black spots. So the material should get the deeper from the oxygen we can prevent the black spot formation. The regulatory limits for the sulfides, sulfides can be regulatory limits like sulfur dioxide content in the food, seafood, USFDA limit is 100 <coughs> ppm, <coughs> 100 ppm sulfides is the maximum tolerance limit for USFDA, United States of America and European countries 150 ppm in raw products and 30 ppm in cooked products sulfite are uh, allowed but labeling declaration we must declare the labels stating that the product contains or the product is treated with sulfite e221 or e223 or 222 we have to give the label if the sulfite content is below 10 you need not declare the labels. Below 10 is considered as the absent. Above 10, we have to give the labeling declaration up to 100 for US, up to 150 for European countries. The black spot formation in frames will decrease the accessibility of consumers, but it won't degrade the quality of the product it degrade the accessibility of the consumer it looks ugly the shrimps it won't impact the quality aspects from flavor aspect of the shrimps so that's why the some due to some allergic effects there is a gaining momentum in the food industries the most of the food industries are searching for the alternative food additive or preservative to replace the sulfite now the countries recently approved the usage of 4 hexyl resorcinol it's an organic compound replaced by the sulfite which is effectively controlling the black spot formation in shrimps which is effectively controlling the enzymatic degradation in shrimps not only shrimps which is also being used in some other industries like dry fruits industries and uh, potato industries, potato chip making industries, tomato sauce industries also. The sodium, instead of sodium, the 4 external resource null is using. The chemical formula is C12H18O2. 4 external resource null, as per the scientific studies, 
there won't be any allergic effects there won't be any adverse effects if the levels exceeds or uh, decreases now so far there there won't be any harmful effects have been observed and this chemical have been approved by efsa european food safety authority approved the four hexyl resorcinol to be used in shrimp manufacturing industry to prevent melanosis which is approved by efsa as categorized into gras chemical g r a s generally recognized as safe for use so the efsa european food safety authority categorized this g r a s gras chemical generally recognized as safe for use in food manufacturing industries now nowadays the globally the these chemical suppliers are available like everfresh everfresh is the supplier and manufacturer of these chemical who is supplying all industries if we can use the replacement instead of sulfites we need not worry about the compliance or we need not worry about the excess levels in the food so we can use this is advisable this is act as a preservative and this is act as a antioxidant thank you friends if you have not watched my previous videos about the chemical hazards in foods please i have given the link below please watch my videos don't distract from my videos please watch from beginning to the ending of my videos thank you please stay tuned for regular updates on food industry related topics i am planning to do the videos about 27 videos for the complete has up maybe i started maybe about this is about the 12th video maybe so sequentially from the starting to the beginning i'm do, I'm, i'm from the starting to the ending i'm doing the videos because first i started with hazards and then categorized in biological hazards and now the started in chemical hazards after this i will do the physical hazards and after this i will do the hazard analysis the seven principles in depth i will do the videos how to distinguish how to determine the significance in the hazards how to apply the controls or critical limits lot of things we will discuss my friends please stay tuned i am preparing this because of i am referring many books not only the shrimp industry biscuit manufacturing industry confectionery industry agricultural food processing industry beverages wine manufacturing industries all food manufacturing industries i am referring all the contents which are available in the internet i am preparing my videos to present you my friends to understand in easiest manner thank you if you like my videos please like but click the like button and if you want to comment my videos comment on i will improve further in my next video if anything i misspelled i find anything wrong likes